everybody just discovered a new extreme sport called like extreme zoomerumi i uh, got this new app called zoom where you can talk to loads of people on a screen so well, i thought that was a bit boring so i got some suckers to put on my feet and like, i stand on the wall at the side of the screen and i like come in sideways like like, 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 like this come into it my feet are stuck on the wall anyway uh all right i'm in practicing like this ah, 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 like zoom a rooming with jenny anyway i thought i'd say hello and tell you about our virtual family service on palm sunday and an extreme competition that i've like designed like to enter the competition First, you've got to watch and listen to this story. Are you ready? Well, here it comes. Watch the screen. Ha <laughs> ha! You know, Jesus liked to tell stories that had special meanings. And once he told a story about a man who had two sons. The story went like this. Here is a man, and here is where he lives. He grows loads of apples in an orchard. And one day, he looks around the orchard and says to himself, These apples are really red and rosy, and they're ready to be picked. <coughs> anyway, back at home, he's got two sons. So he goes home, finds his first son, and says, I want you to help me pick the apples, son. No, says the first son. I'm too busy mending my toy aeroplane. But after a while, the first son feels really sorry for what he said and picks up a basket and he walks off to the orchard to pick the apples. The man finds his second son. I want you to help me pick the apples too, son he says. Oh yes, says the second son. I promise, I'll come as soon as I put my boots on. Back in the orchard, the first son is busy picking apples. And look, he's already filled one basket right to the brim. Well done, son, says the man. Here's another basket. We'll have this done in no time. They work together until all the apples have been picked. But there's no sign of the second son. So what do you think's happened? So, what do you think might happen? That's your extreme task to find out by looking at the Bible in Matthew chapter 21. And then send your answers to me at Pete at scamptonchurch.org and I'll pick the winner. So, like, see you next week on Palm Sunday, but don't be late. Bye. Ha. Woo.